All right, today we're gonna be talking about covering your bases in respawn, specifically in hardpoint. A lot of times nowadays in new Call of Duty, there are a bunch of, you know, random split spawns that just happen. And as you know, a pro player, amateur player, even if you're just playing in ranked, you're not gonna be able to read everything. Even at the pro level, you're not gonna be 100%. You're just going to have to play for certain spawns because it's a possibility of them happening. So in my opinion, uh, what you gotta do is just cover your bases. And you'll see in this video, specifically this is Atlanta phase on six star doing exactly that you know they're trying to play for a certain spawn but they're also keeping everything in check in case there was someone who spawned out just making sure that you're covering your bases and keeping everything controlled that's you know one of the biggest things about respawn especially in this game is just making sure that everything is controlled and you know where the enemy could be at and is at all times you know the worst thing that can happen is you don't play for it they get a free pinch everything gets completely chaotic and you don't turn your kills that you had previously got into any points because you didn't adjust for those possible spawns but it is a probability game at this point you know you might be playing for a certain spawn because 80 percent of the time they might spawn there but you just got to keep everything in check just to cover your bases so thank you guys for watching this video hope you guys enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next one i'm from blue side so if he gets this kill they can all converge on together towards the p1 he gets the kill and they win the gunfight u side too so they're they're just winning their 1v1s every side of the map they're going to probably get another guy on Envoy here. They're Obviously, Toronto's not expecting them to be coming from every single angle on the hill, but that's exactly what they do. Drazi gets a free kill. Initial break. The hill just popped. Three down. And you see the last guy live mid-stairs now. Now you can start soaking the hill, playing for this. You know, based on your positioning, that... Well, actually, you do. You technically don't know. I think is even playing for this because he knows it's a possibility they can spawn reception here. But chances are, because uh, of the positioning where they broke... It was probably that they were going to spawn P2, but you never know, especially with number eight pushed out towards the plat over here, you still kind of have to play for it. So this is very important nowadays in how Call of Duty is being played with these spawns. You kind of just have to play, you have to play percentages, but you have to just make sure that you're holding everything that could possibly happen just in case. You know, some you, they know some weird shit could happen where, you know, maybe one guy spawns towards white over here and he's just playing for that. Even though all these guys just spawn P2, you see a lot of people just playing for it just to have some sanity, just to make sure everything is controlled, you know? Lamar, how many times, how many times where you you guys are all in the middle of the map and let, let's say on six star over here and you have zero clue what's going to happen with the spawn. So you have to play for both sides just in case. I feel that happens a lot, even with some other maps too. Especially now with the Karachi, where you, you start seeing people spawn out like back alley a lot more, even if you guys are just holding that side. And, to, and FaZe is going to spawn P4. You get parallels over here all the time. I have no idea why they wouldn't just spawn Reception White over here. It's not like they Toronto had anyone over here. You know, it's... it's this is a very hard spawn to read. I Like in the moment, like you just have to be aware of like, oh, they could just spawn P4 and you just have to play for it. The only thing I can think of, and this might be completely wrong, is that since Scrap is taking this gunfight on Draza, technically Scrap is the most, the furthest out at this very moment. And once this guy dies, Scrap was technically more left than Draza. So technically they're having some type of thing where Toronto is on this side of the map because uh, like Scrap is the furthest on this side like if draws had killed him over here where he's more left maybe they they like they keep spawning over here that's the only thing i can think of in this specific situation because the main reason why you think people or why you you think you'll spawn here is if they have pressure towards p2 and they're like over here in some area nowadays there's a lot of things that go into the spawns i feel like it's just based on like percentages now so it could be like x percentage line of sight X percentage squad spawn, X percentage blocking slash anchoring, or yeah, X percentage anchoring. Like there's, there's, I feel like there's, everything's just like a percentage now. And it's just whatever is being weighted the most, I would say probably, I mean, blocking or line of sight is probably really important in terms of like not being able to spawn there. Cause they're not gonna want you to spawn in a gunfight or you know, where someone is constantly at with the blocking situation. So something like line of sight slash in a gunfight are probably the most, I would assume. 
<laughs> so they break on into the P1 after spawning P2, and number eight just takes this route through blue. Number three, Insight probably has zero clue how the fuck he just died. Obviously, he, reala he, he realizes as soon as he died that the guy spawned P4, but he's probably like, how the fuck did they spawn P4 here? You know what I'm saying? And they're going to keep getting the spawn. They, keep, they just keep getting it too. So no one ever spawns in this reception area for a good, you know, what, 20 seconds. Boom, trades happen. Because of how FaZe spawns, they're going to look for for, uh, for P2. Because they know they killed this guy long. Technically, the long guy is blocking or was blocking the, the front spawn or the, the reception spawn. So now they can all front look for it towards front. Number six is the, just going to play it just in case, though. You know, we, we talked about this. Play it just in case you saw Draza do it on the P1. Abizi's going to do it here. And you, you see teams do it a lot now just to just to keep everything fucking controlled. Number six is still going to play for if they could have possibly spawned here. So he's going to look for it, even though, you know, hindsight minimap, you know, all of them are spawning P2. You don't technically know that in the game because obviously they didn't spawn in the back. They spawned middle, but it was just because this guy had pushed long and died. It wasn't because someone was also here, but you never know. Maybe that with that influence and because, you know, phase wasn't technically by long, they were, they were just in white. Maybe they could have gotten some weird spawn over here. So you just have to play for it. 